and change our partner. Now we're going to be playing with Lucia. You don't look like Lucia. Where's your blue hair? Uh, Fire Emblem reference for those who don't know. Anyway, here is the intermediate course. As you can see, it's kind of uh, a little darker out, and there's actually barrels on the mast now. Uh, the barrels do add kind of the weight to the boat, so you have to keep that in mind when you're placing your me characters. However, it's not, no, not, it's not necessarily that. It's more so the fact that they take up spaces, so... You know, sometimes you could be needing to place a me in a certain place when uh, you can't put it there, so... You have to be very wary of stuff like that. So let's do this game again. I think it's kind of cool how I didn't even lose a minigame when we uh, did the beginner level. I'm sure I'll lose a minigame before long, though. Although, who knows? Who's to say? So yeah, when you get to the intermediate level, you're going to want to start like planning to not necessarily start in the middle, but kind of start a little over to the middle, because uh, it's always nice to have a middle space when uh, you get a very, very awkward me combo. Okay, so here's this game again. I've never hit all the speed boosters on this game. That'd be kind of cool if I could, but... It's actually kind of hard to do, to hit them all. Because sometimes you go fast enough that you'll not be able to turn in time. I'm actually kind of disappointed there's not like a new record system on this game, because... That actually kind of would have been cool. To keep track of stuff like that. Okay, so got another purple character. He has a yellow character, so I'm going to put him right here. And what I try to do is I always try to make the computer player go first in some of the later games. Because that way you can kind of try to react to what his mistake is going to be. Because, as I've said before, he's not always going to make a good move. He's He or she is more than likely going to make a stupid move before long. Okay, teamwork temple. It takes a lot of teamwork to reach the treasure at the end. Uh, work together to strike it rich. This game's kind of cool, but um, there's not a lot of variation here. Like you'll find yourself doing like the same exact obstacles over and over again, to the point where this actually gets kind of boring. But yeah, just kind of uh, follow the instructions in front of you. And you also have these little seesaws as well. I think it's a great utilization of like the teamwork aspect in this game. They give you a lot more time than you need though. And you have a double seesaw right here, which is kind of cool. And right here, you can't actually get smashed by these things if you're on the bottom, so don't worry about that. And lastly, right here, you have to mash the 2 button. I don't know if there's like a pattern or like a little rhythm you can go with here, but, um, you know, as long as you mash the button, you should be fine. It'll take about 10 seconds, so if you're not there in 10 seconds, you're probably going to fail. Or there with 10 seconds left, I mean. Okay, so here we go. Let's balance some more Mii's. Finally, I have a green character. Like, right there. I don't know if that was the best move, but, you know, we'll see what happens. It would be really, it would be really, 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 really annoying if I actually did all of these successfully. Because it took me so freaking long to actually, you know, do all three successfully normally. Now when I'm recording, I'm actually doing a good job. Okay, tippy traverse, run along the paths and reach the goal together. 
keep the bridge balanced or you'll tip over. This game is actually really easy with the uh, computer AI because... I don't know, I've never failed this game. And uh, I don't plan on failing right now just to show you what it's like, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Like it, it always seems like you can't really fail this as long as you're not an idiot. Although I guess we almost kind of failed right there. Thankfully I was able to uh, salvage that. You also have plenty of time, so the time limit should never really be a factor. Almost ran off the thing right there. Then you just gotta do this part right here, and then you'll be done. Okay, another yellow character. Stop with the yellows. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to move first, and... Gonna wait till it tips all the way to that side, then I'll place the character. I'm gonna get a little bit of tilt right here, but for the most part, it's still even. So yeah, if we get some yellow characters, we might be in trouble, but, um... Not necessarily. Okay, Blastronauts. This game, kind of mixed feelings about this, depending on the setup. Avoid the asteroids and blast the goal together as fast as you can. They don't give you a lot of time for this game. With all the other games, they give you, like, too much time. For this one, like, I don't think they give you enough time. You only get, like, 45 seconds, but, like, for some parts you have to move really, really slowly. And, uh, that can really, uh, be harmful to your time. But yeah, just avoid the asteroids together. Once again, this kind of reminds me of a Mario Party minigame. But not one that's like like this. It's like a... What is it? It's the it's the mountain minigame in uh, the 2 versus 2 mountain game in Mario Party 4 where you had to like climb a mountain together. I forgot what it was called. But yeah, that, that game's not too bad, but um, just be careful and you should be fine. Okay, we got some purple characters now. This guy's probably going to put him in the middle. See, like, that didn't really help us at all, so... We're going to get a little tilt this way now, which... I mean, tilt's not always a bad thing, because... Then you kind of have an idea of where you need to place the me characters, but... Um, you want to make sure that you have enough room on each level, because you never know like, what color they're going to give you. And once again, I forgot to read the rules, but uh, for this one, you just shake the... Or not really shake, but kind of twirl the Wii Remote around to a uh, pedal, I guess you could say. This game's kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of... Um, I don't know, but... Um, kind of seems like a Balloon Fight game, almost. Or what Balloon Fight would be like in a 3D. Oh, wow, I'm actually going to fail this. Hooray! Fail! That game's actually really easy, too, but whatever. So now we're going to show you what happens when you actually lose a game together. As you can see, we have me characters of different sizes, so we have to, uh, kind of coordinate. Oh, come on! See, like, that's what I was talking about. The computer player probably could have saved us if they actually put down the me, but, um... No, she decided to just hold on to it, which is really, really stupid. I mean, I did kind of place the uh, big character kind of on the tilting side anyway, but still, like, I, I could have saved that. That could have been fine. That could have been saved, I think. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's uh, the intermediate level. Now let's uh, change difficulty one more time.